What effect does intermittent fasting have on your hormones? Although intermittent fasting can help you lose weight and belly fat, it can also have a negative impact on your hormones. This is due to the fact that body fat is the body's means of storing energy. If you don't eat, your body goes through a series of adjustments in order to make its stored energy more available. So, I'd like to recommend to you a product that has helped me a lot and that I believe will benefit you a lot as well. So please take a look below this description where I fix the official website. Please subscribe to this channel. Addictionality, to help it grow. So let's keep going. When you fast, your metabolism changes in two ways. Insulin. When you eat, your insulin levels rise. And when you fast, your insulin levels plummet. Insulin levels that are lower aid fat burning. Norpinephrine is a kind of norpinephrine that is. Norpinephrine is a neurotransmitter that causes fat cells to break down body fat into free fatty acids that can be burned for energy. Intermittent fasting assists in calorie reduction and weight loss. Intermittent fasting helps you eat less calories, which is why it helps you lose weight. During the fasting periods, all of the procedures require skipping meals. You'll consume less calories unless you compensate by eating substantially more throughout the meal intervals. Intermittent fasting reduced body weight by 3.8% over a period of 3.24 weeks, according to a 2014 review. When dieting, intermittent fasting may assist you maintain muscle mass. Dieting has the unfortunate side effect of causing muscle loss in addition to fat loss. Intermittent fasting has been demonstrated in certain trials to be effective for retaining muscle mass while decreasing body fat. Intermittent dieting induced a similar level of weight loss as continuous calorie restriction, but with a significantly lesser decrease in muscle mass, According to a scholarly review, in the dieting studies, muscle mass lost 25% of the weight loss, compared to 10% in the intermittent calorie restriction studies. How to make an intermittent fasting program work for you for lose belly fat. If you wish to lose weight with intermittent fasting, there are a few things to bear in mind. Food safety. It's still crucial to eat healthy foods. Eat entire, single ingredient foods as often as possible. Calories. Calories are still important. During non-fasting periods, try to eat normally, but not so much that you compensate for the calories you missed while fasting. Consistency. If you want it to work, you must continue with it for a long time just like any other weight loss strategy. Patience. It may take some time for your body to adjust to an intermittent fasting regimen. It will become easier if you are regular with your eating regimen. Exercise, such as strength training, is recommended in almost all common intermittent fasting protocols. If you want to burn largely body fat while keeping your muscle mass, this is crucial. When it comes to intermittent fasting, Calorie counting is usually not necessary at first. Calorie counting, on the other hand, can be helpful if your weight loss plateaus. Selecting an intermittent fasting program. Intermittent fasting can be done in a variety of ways. Among the most popular are the method of 16 to 8, the 5 to 2 diet, warrior diet, eat stop eat, the method of 16 to 8. One of the most popular fasting plans for weight loss is the 16 over 8 intermittent fasting strategy. Food and calorie containing beverages are limited to an 8 hour window per day under the diet. It necessitates fasting for the remaining 16 hours of the day. While other diets may have stringent restrictions and regulations, the 16 over 8 technique is more flexible and is based on a time-restricted feeding concept. You can consume calories over any 8-hour period. The 5 to 2 method. The 5 to 2 diet is a simple intermittent fasting strategy. You eat regularly 5 days a week and don't count calories. Then you cut your calorie consumption to one quarter of your daily requirements on the other 2 days of the week. For someone who consumes 2 calories per day on a daily basis, this would entail cutting their calorie consumption to 500 calories 2 days per week. According to a report published in 2018, according to trusted source, the 5 to 2 diet is just as efficient for weight loss and blood glucose control in those with type 2 diabetes as daily calorie restriction. Eat Stop Eat Brad Pylon, author of the book Eat Stop Eat, popularized an innovative technique to intermittent fasting called Eat Stop Eat. This intermittent fasting method entails deciding on one or two non-consecutive days every week when you will go without eating for a 24-hour period. You can eat as much as you like the rest of the week, 
but it's best to eat a well-balanced diet and avoid overindulging. A weekly 24-hour fast is justified by the belief that eating fewer calories will result in weight loss. Alternate Day Fasting Alternate day fasting is a simple, easy-to-follow intermittent fasting diet. You fast every other day on this regimen, but you can eat whatever you want on the non-fasting days. On fasting days, some variations of this diet follow a modified fasting technique that entails eating roughly 500 calories. Other variants, on the other hand, completely exclude calories on fasting days. Fasting on alternate days has been shown to help people lose weight. The Warrior Diet The Warrior Diet is an intermittent fasting strategy inspired by ancient warriors' eating habits. The Warrior Diet, developed by Ori Hofmeckler in 2001, is more intense than the 16-to-8 technique but less stringent than the Eat Fast Eat method. It entails eating relatively little throughout the day for 20 hours and then eating as much as wanted during a 4-hour window at night. During the 20-hour fast, the Warrior Diet encourages dieters to consume small amounts of dairy products, hard-boiled eggs, raw fruits and vegetables, as well as non-calorie drinks. People can eat anything they want for a 4-hour window after a 20-hour fast. Although unprocessed, nutritious, and organic meals are encouraged. I hope you enjoy this video. And I am confident that the knowledge presented will be of great assistance to you. So please support this channel by subscribing and leaving a comment below. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Goodbye.